Hey, glad to see you guys back here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. The last couple of days I've been giving you guys a little bit of the Ramirez. He's been going on. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to check out that system that I talked about a couple of weeks back. We brought you all a thing that said with this epic gaming system we were going to be building. I had all the parts out on the table and all that. Well, I had my tech, Anthony Reynolds, go and custom build me this nice system all together. Maybe not totally too custom, but it's a really nice system nonetheless. Got a lot of sponsors in this thing, and it's really cool. It's going to start out with the outside. You can see I've got the level 10 case. This is the GT case. Really nice, awesome case. Got some cool stuff here. This is the Gigabyte little breakout box. This is for their 3.0 ports. I have the Gigabyte G1 sniper motherboard inside there, X58 bound, looking really nice inside there. I've also got right here in the front, I've got the Blu-ray player from Asus, right here in front, really nice. I've got a Lamtron thing right here. This controls the fans. I use these strictly for the fan that's for the CPU cooler. So these turn up and the, the noise would increase a little bit here. You guys will hear that. You guys can check that out. It's pretty cool. Now, inside of this really cool thing, it's got a nice water-cooled system from Swift Tech. This is their new H2O Edge system. It's the 220. It features a dual rad, really nice water block and everything. Anthony used some custom white tubing in there, made it look really awesome. I've got the 990 Extreme Processor from Intel in there. It's looking really good. I've got it overclocked to 4.2 using that without any heat whatsoever. The thing's running really cool, really awesome. I've got 12 gigabytes of the Kingston Black Memory in there. I got it running at Memory Profile XMP1, which is at 1600 megabytes. Megahertz. System's running absolutely beautiful right now. For the video card, I've got the Asus 590 GTX. Now, a lot of you guys made comments about why didn't you use the other card? You know, this is the system I wanted. I really like this 590 card. It has a display port out that's going to go to the new Dell monitor that I'm getting. This is what I wanted for my system. Now, some people out there may have had some differences. Now, for my basic boot up drive, once again, I got to thank Intel. I've got their new 510 series 250 gigabyte SSD. Awesome transfer rates on this thing. Those three read and writes are just phenomenal. For my basic drive, I've got a one terabyte drive from the people over at Western Digital. Thanks, Heather. That's the black caviar drive. Got that going on inside of there. So all in all, it's a really nice system as you guys can see. Inside, everything's really cool lit. There's lots of lights. You can see all the cool water pipes and everything in there are all nice and white. Look at going through it. it looks all really cool. So it's kind of like a mixture between Christmas and just, you know, cool stuff because you can see all the little blinking lights and all that stuff. Now, I also use the Thermal Take, their 1350. This is their Tough Power XT, their power supply. In the original video, I had a different power supply, but this is the one that I actually went going with because we decided to just want to have as much power as possible to have a lot of headroom in the system. Everything came together really well. Cable management in the GT was excellent. All the wires are hidden. You can't see anything. And as you can see on the inside of the case, it just looks amazing. Everything wired up really nicely. On the side of the case as well, um, over here on the side, all of these bays are actually removable. So you can pop these out one by one and you can actually hot swap your drives in and out if you want to. Um, we did have a little bit of problem with bay one. I gotta say, I don't know what's up with that. Ransom will be talking to me later about this, but my bay one, I could never really get to work. So we just worked around that. Um, the side of the case is pretty cool. I'm just gonna move it around here. You guys can see right here, it's got a system security lock. So if you want to actually lock the case, you can lock the case up. I don't know why anybody want to do that. Maybe if you had children or something or some pesky thief. Seriously, I don't know why anybody would want that. I mean, I guess if you go to a lot of LAN parties, but then again, this thing's so giant and heavy, you probably wouldn't want to get that. But you can see, starting from the Swift Tech thing all the way down, I even have the memory cooled. Um, Kingston was able to provide us a little memory cool as well. You can see that on the thing, it lights up blue. So this is just a really excellent system. Um, I ran some test scores, all the just the normal stuff that you get, you know, your 3D mark, your PC mark, your Vantage, all that stuff, because anybody can get those scores. You can see it scored pretty damn good just for a system right out of the box. It's got minimal overclocking. I decided just to leave air cooling on the video card for now and not overclock the video card. I just overclocked the CPU. The overclock was very successful. I've had no issues whatsoever at all playing any games or anything. It's just a beautiful running system. Um, I got to say the system costs about $4,000 total. You can see all the list of the parts here, everyone that I use, they're all broke out and so you can check that out. The total cost in this is about $4,000 though. This is a super high end system. It's quality parts all around. It's basically all name brand. I mean, basically, you know, if you were a guitar player and you went out and you bought yourself a boutique amp, well, this is definitely a boutique 
PC. You know, that said, I love it. I thank all the people that helped us get the parts to build it. Thank my tech, Anthony, just everybody involved for doing it. Jonathan for doing the editing. And uh, we'll see you guys back here with even further more vids. Just want to let you guys know that we just did the top end system. Brian wanted to do his. I did mine. Now I have a midline system coming your guys your way. So we'll have systems ranging from $4,000 all the way down to about $600. That's what we figured was about the minimum gaming system is any decent worthy gaming system. Anything below that's probably gonna be an HTPC. I know you guys are actually asking for a bunch of how-tos. They take a really long time to do. So what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start filming small segments of those things and we'll break those down into how-tos for you folks. Bear with us, we'll have it for you. We'll see you back here, plenty of love, back here at the motherboards.org YouTube channel.